A pioneer of color photography, Pete Turner's career began during the infancy of color photography, at a time when color was used almost exclusively for commercial purposes. Unlike many contemporaries, Turner embraced color, seizing opportunities that allowed him to master the process and to create the imagery he felt compelled to make. Unconcerned with the labels of art or commercial, he deftly created a life's work that blurred these boundaries. Turner achieved his vision by combining the technical tools of photography with a perceptive eye for compositional color. Learning to manipulate hue and saturation early in his career, Turner created photographs that looked unlike anything previously seen, such as giraffe. Over the years, he continued to push the medium of photography by employing an impeccable sense of timing and a long-running fascination with geometry and surrealism. Join us as we embark on a visual journey through the captivating world of Pete Turner. Through his lens, Turner not only captured moments but transformed them into vibrant tapestries of emotion and imagination. As we delve deeper into his legacy, we discover the profound impact of a true pioneer whose creativity knows no bounds. Donald Pete Turner was born in Albany, New York on May 30, 1934. Turner was an American photographer renowned for his vibrant color photographs. According to Photo District News, he is one of the 20 most influential photographers of all time. His photographs are featured in permanent exhibition collections of major museums, including the European House of Photography, the Tokyo Metropolitan Museum of Photography, and the International Center of Photography in New York. Pete Turner began taking photographs in 1945, initially in black and white. From 1948 onwards, he started experimenting with color photography. He studied at the Rochester Institute of Technology between 1952 and 1956, under the guidance of Ralph Hattersley, Robert Bagby, Les Strobel, and Minor White, alongside fellow students such as Bruce Davidson and Jerry Yulesman. His first published work appeared in the Popular Photography Annual in 1956. During his subsequent military service, he worked in the Color Photography Laboratories of the United States Army. After his military service, he contacted record producer Creed Taylor 
for whom he designed photographs for numerous albums starting in 1959. Initially, these were portraits of musicians, but later, due to his interest in color combination, he photographed objects and landscapes with a highly abstract appearance. In that same year, 1959, he undertook his first photographic expedition from Cape Town to Cairo for National Geographic magazine and for the Airstream Trailer Company. Pete Turner managed to sell the remaining photographs to Horizon magazine, as well as to some museums. In 1961, he documented the decline of the American Railroad in a series of photographs for Esquire magazine. In the following years, he also worked as a cinematographer and advertising photographer, repeatedly receiving commissions from magazines for photographic essays in remote or distant countries. In 1968, he showcased his works in solo exhibitions at Photokina in Germany and at the George Eastman House, Kodak's Photographic Museum. In 1981, the American Society of Media Photographers honored him for his outstanding photographic achievements. In 1986, Turner published his first illustrated book, Pete Turner Photographs, with Abrams Books. In 2001, his second book, Pete Turner African Journey, compiling Turner's photographs in Africa, was published by Graphisync. In 2006, he released The Color of Jazz with the media group Rizzoli, featuring a selection of 80 photographs that adorn the album covers of CTI Records and other music labels. In 2007, the Eastman House showcased his complete works in an exhibition titled Pete Turner Empowered by Color. Turner passed away on September 18, 2017, at the age of 83, at his home in Long Island, New York. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. This way, you'll always stay up to date with all the videos I produce here. Until the next one, see you later.